Supplies you're gonna need to create this pillow is going to be um, Heat and Bond Ultra Hold. This I got from Hobby Lobby for about $3. You're also gonna need an iron of some kind. Today I'm gonna to be using my Cricut Easy Press Mini, but you can definitely use your home iron on a medium setting with no steam. You're going to need a dish towel. This dish towel I purchased from 651vinyl.com. And you're also gonna need some polyfill. This again came from Hobby Lobby. This is what I'm gonna be using to stuff my pillow. And if you wanna put a design on your pillow, you wanna go ahead and get that ready as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my dish towel and I'm gonna go ahead and lay it flat. I'm gonna put the side that I eventually want facing outward on my pillowcase. I'm going to put that face up. And then from there, I'm gonna take bottom of my pillow, or sorry, dish towel, I'm already calling it a pillowcase, and I'm going to take it and I'm gonna fold it most of the way up. And I'll show you here exactly what that looks like. Uh, so I have it folded most of the way. I have a little bit left over, and the reason for this is because I'm going to fold it over to kind of create a little bit of a pocket, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and do that there. Then I'm going to cut a piece of my um, heat and bond that is going to be about the length of the side of my uh, dish towel, or soon to be pillowcase, and I'm going to put it paper side up. I'm going to slide it in between these two here and I'm going to put it close to the edge because I do want it to be somewhat closer there to the edge of my pillow. Okay. And then I'm going to take you to take your iron or in this case my Cricut Easy Press Mini and I'm going to go over it for about two seconds or so. Okay. And then from here you're going to take it and you're going to peel off this top layer. Once you have peeled off the paper backing, you're gonna have the clear part you can see here that's still left up. So from that, I'm gonna take the top of my dish towel and I'm gonna go ahead and fold that back over like so. And I'm gonna take my iron or my Cricut Easy Press Mini in this case and go over it for a little bit longer length of time. And this is going to seal these edges here. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I ultimately wanna flip it inside out to create a nice um, seam looking edge and I want this part to eventually be the inside. Okay. Make sure it's nice and bonded. Okay. And now I'm gonna do the exact same thing for this side and most of the top. I'm gonna to leave a section of it undone simply so I can stuff it. And then I will go back and redo that again. But again, just kind of get yourself tape about the length of it. Paper side goes up, get it to the edge, close to it. Now for the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to again apply the same method that I used to um, put together the sides of my dish towel. I'm going to use for the top how I'm going to leave a small hole so that I can stuff my pillowcase. Now I'm going to reach inside my pillowcase and I'm going to turn it right side out. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply my design. As you can see, now I have created a seam type of look with my dish towel to make it look more like a, um, an actual pillow. I do have this part still open. This is for the stuffing. I'm going to leave it that way until after I've applied my design. Once I've applied my design, I'll go ahead and stuff the uh, pillow and I will go ahead and apply one more strip of this um, Ultra Bond, Heat and Ultra Bond, excuse me, to the top and it will become our finished product. So I will go ahead and do that and be right back to show you what it looks like. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the open pouch that I left earlier and I'm gonna go ahead and stuff it with polyfill. 